Hey everybody, welcome to Kids Link Pre-K Online. I'm so glad that you could join in with us today. Today in our Bible story, we're going to hear about how a woman asked a king a very important question. I can't wait to find out what she asked. But first, we're going to play a game. This game is called King May I, and here's how you're gonna play. First, you have to back up away from the screen as far as you can, okay? Stay in the same room, but back up as far as you can. Now, I'm gonna point to this side, and I'm going to say a way for you to move forward. But before you can move forward, you have to say, King May I? And I'll say, yes you may, and then you can move forward. Then I'm gonna do the same for this side. So if there's lots of kiddos in your home, pick a side. Stand on this side or this side, because you're gonna do those motions, whichever one you picked. Are you ready? Are you backed up? You picked a side? Okay. Remember to say, King May I, nice and loud. This side. Take three big steps forward. Yes, you may. This side. Take eight baby steps forward. Yes, you may. This side. Take one giant leap forward. King, may I? Yes, you may. This side. Take one somersault forward. Yes, you may. This side. Hop on one leg three times. King, may I? Yes, you may. This side. Do one huge leap. King, may I? Yes, you may. Did anyone make it to the screen yet? Did you make it to the screen and then have to run around and start over? <laughs> Continue to play the game as long as you like. Now you guys can make up whatever steps you want people to do. You can turn in circles, you can jump up and down, you can do jumping jacks, but make sure they ask, King may I? And you say, yes you may. And then come back to the video and we'll worship all together. Nothing at all can ever separate us from God's love, Romans 8.39. Nothing at all can ever separate us from God's love, Romans 8.39.
God loves us And he gave his only son He is awesome, Jesus Nothing can stop him, he's too strong Yeah, we're singing Jesus is alive, he's alive, oh yeah Everybody celebrate Jesus is alive, he's alive, oh yeah He can do super yummy today. Can you guess what I'm making? That's right, lemonade! I'm helping my clubhouse friends with the lemonade stand. And what do we need for a lemonade stand? Why, the world's best lemonade, of course. My Aunt Ming sent me her best plan to follow. It's her world famous lemonade recipe. I've already squeezed some lemons. So sour. And add the secret ingredient, maple syrup. Mmm, so sweet. And now all we have to do is add one more lemon and some water. Can you help me? Great, let's do it. Let's squeeze this lemon to the pitcher. Stir three times. One, two, three. And now we have to add four cups of water. Can you help me? Great. One, two, three, and four. Great job, everyone. Aunt Ming will be so proud. Now all we have to do is stir it and we'll be all set. I can't wait to try the lemonade. Hoo, hoo. It's Ollie. Hello, Poppy. Hoo, hoo. Making some lemonade, are you? Hey, Ollie. I sure am. 
I made my Aunt Ming's best lemonade recipe. I followed her plan and I'm doing everything it says. That's a great plan. It's true. I know about an extra special plan for you. Just listen to this story. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Follow me through who? Oz got a Bible story for me and you. There we go. Hola, friends. I'm Luis, the handyman. Just going over the blueprint plan for my latest project. Can you guess what I'm going to build? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's a skateboard ramp. My neighbor asked me to build one for his son. But before I build anything, I always make a plan like this one, so I'll know what to build step by step. Which reminds me of a story. Do you want to help me build it? Great! Let's put it on the story fence. Hammers up, little builders. Ready? Uno, dos, tres, hammer. Great job, little helpers. You can put your hammers down. Now we just need our story tools. Yep, we have everything we need. Okay, so today's true story from the Bible begins with a queen named Esther. Now, a queen needs a castle, right? So, hold on one second. There we go. Esther loved God. She knew that God loved her and had a plan for her. Now, this is Haman. He worked for the king, but he did not love God. In fact, he had a plan to do something very mean to Esther's family. One day, Haman told the king that the king should get rid of a whole group of people, God's people. When Esther heard this, she was so upset. The king didn't know, but the people Haman wanted to get rid of were her friends and family. They loved God just like she did. Oh no, that's so sad. Show me your sad face. Well, what should she do? Esther was scared that if she went to the king, he might get mad at her. But then, her cousin Mordecai came to tell her something. He reminded her that God loved her and had a plan for her. She could trust God. God loves you, Esther, Mordecai said. You're special. You were made for this. So Esther trusted God's plan. She went to the king and asked him to save her friends and family. And guess what? The king said, yes! Hooray! <laughs> Way to go, Esther! God had a plan for Esther. And God has a plan for you too, because God loves you. Hey there, Ollie. Tell me, who loves you? God loves me. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who loves you? God loves me. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. See you next time. So there's your story. It's all true. God had a plan for Esther, and he has a plan for you. Thanks, Ali. Goodbye to you. Who? Who? Wow, what a great story. God has a plan for us, just like he had a plan for Esther. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say, got it. Get it? Got it! Good! It's always good to have a plan, and God's plan is the best plan. I'll see you next time, bye! God had a plan for Esther, and God has a plan for you, because he loves you. Who loves you? God loves me. That's right. One more time. Can you say it as loud as you can, with the biggest voices you can? Who loves you? God loves me. Good job, everybody. Now, before we go, let's pray. Ready? 
God, you are such a good God. Thank you for your plan for Esther. Thank you for the plans you have for each of us. Your plan is the best plan because you love us and we love you. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Bye, guys.